In 1978, Danish filmmaker Leif Larsen visited Tilburg and The Hague. He filmed the demonstration cycle routes that had just been finished. Why don't we find out, 40 years later, what's left of those important test cycle routes that changed the way the Dutch designed their cities? Some of the locations have not changed at all apart from the trees that grew. Other streets in the route have changed beyond recognition. Some of the separate cycleways have vanished completely. Compared to standard Dutch cycleway design, some parts of the demonstration route feel over-engineered. A dual carriageway for cycling is something you rarely see. The two separate cycleways are too narrow to overtake in a convenient way. The experimental speed bumps have all been completely removed. In this case, they were replaced by the now standard exit construction. Drivers, coming from a different level, have to give way to people cycling. It turned out that simpler solutions offer the same effect, a safe crossing. Where the cycleways have disappeared, it is mostly because of changes in the volume and speed of motor traffic. In a low volume 30 km per hour zone, you do not need separated cycleways. That key element of the Dutch sustainable safety policies was introduced long after this demonstration route was built. In the city center, the cycleway also disappeared. Here, people cycling are now guessed in a pedestrian zone. Cycling is discouraged here which is the complete opposite of what the route was originally meant to do. Make cycling so convenient and safe that more people will do it. Fortunately, the entire route is still very much usable. But it hasn't become a monument, something it could and maybe should have been. This was the first modern cycle route in the Netherlands. It set a standard for all the infrastructure that was built since. It deserves more recognition today.